Hi there, friends. I'm Anita Kaiser from Anita Kaiser Wellness. And if you're not familiar with me, I'm a coach who works with empaths and highly sensitive entrepreneurs. I help them find business success through emotional wellness. And one of my favorite tools that I use most often is EFT tapping. And today I thought I'd share a sequence with you to stop your spinning mind so you can get shit done. All right, so the way this works, is the call and response. I'm gonna tap and then I'll pause and you can repeat after me, all right? On the outside of the hand, doesn't matter which hand, just tapping on the outside, pinky finger side. Even though my mind is constantly spinning, Right here, right now, I'm safe. Even though my mind is constantly spinning and getting in my way, right here, right now, I'm safe. even though I find myself spinning around in my mind all the time. I'm open to looking at this today. In between the eyes, my spinning mind. Outside of the eyes, getting in my way. Underneath the eyes, my spinning mind. Underneath the nose, it gets in my way. And the crease of the chin, so frustrating. down to the chest, makes me really angry. Underneath the arm, why can't I just stop my spinning mind? In between the eyes, I wanna be more productive. Outside of the eye, I've got things to do. underneath the eye, but instead, underneath the nose, my mind keeps spinning. And the crease of the chin pulling me this way and that way. Down to the chest, this spinning mind of mine. underneath the arm. I wonder what it needs. In between the eyes, I wonder. Outside of the eyes, what would help my mind stop spinning? underneath the eyes. I'm open to the idea. Underneath the nose. That it's safe. On the crease of the chin. For my mind to stop spinning. down to the chest. I'm open to getting more done. I 
I appreciate my mind. So just taking a moment, letting yourself notice what's happening inside. Hopefully you noticed a significant shift in energy that occurred through that sequence. Maybe you heard some responses from within when you asked those questions. Maybe you had a memory pop up. Maybe you noticed something that was not in your awareness before. I'd love for you to let me know in the comments below. Let me know how it went for you. Let me know what came up. And if you're interested in finding out more about the work I do, reach out. I'd love to connect and just see if we're a good fit. All right, my friends. Enjoy the rest of your day. Much love.